In today's episode of The String Report, we are reviewing the new TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus Fairywood. A lot of new stuff going on with this one today. And we have Kevin Kraft with us today to hit some shots on TrackMan, and we'll tell you everything that you need to know. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and give this video a like, and then tell us in the comments what you think of the new Stealth 2 Plus Fairywood. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft here, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today in the Tour Van, we've got a new Fairywood, TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus. And Excited about this one. That, yeah, I mean, you, you, all you have to do is turn around and look at the sole of the club, and then you're like, okay, that curiosity starts to uh, yes. build a little bit just by looking at it. So, <clears throat> first impression, looking at it from here and what you've kind of read about it, mm -hmm. what are you expecting to happen here? So... I'm expecting a whole lot to happen here. Yeah. So from the top, it looks very similar to last mm -hmm. year's Stealth Plus. Yep. The backside, however, completely different. Yep. Completely different. So we've got a 50 gram sliding weight in the back. Yep. Uh, and it, the sliding is working forward and backwards yep. rather than up or yep. down. So we're not talking about shot shape here. Yep. We're talking more about launch and spin. So they did get rid of the rocket yeah. for 2023. Mm -hmm. There's no stronger right. lofted version of the Stealth uh, Stealth 2 Plus. So with this, however, we do have two degrees of adjustability. We can crank it all the way down to 13 degrees. And with the sliding weight, we can move that weight forward, mm -hmm. lower that launch, lower that spin. I'm sure that TaylorMade is banking on the fact that at 13 degrees with all that weight right. forward, it's going to perform very similarly to a, a rocket from last year. Right. And there's, I mean, the ball speed's all there, inverted yep. cone technology, yep. and, you know, the, the through slot speed pocket, yep. explosiveness, low face hits are still going to perform. So you have all of those technologies from past models, but this is a game changer, really, because a 50 gram movable weight is among, in my memory, one of the highest, like, weights of a movable, you know, object on the club. It's huge. It's it's a lot of weight. It's I mean, a you lot see, of weight. You see in the 20s up to 30 maybe yeah. on like a driver. Yep. 50 in a ferry wood is going to do a lot. It is. We should see significant differences from weight forward and weight back. Yeah. For so, sure. and I mean, it, it is a many different ferry woods in one club that it you is. can in theory have. Um, now you can't adjust mid round, unfortunately. Thanks to the Depends USG. on who you play with. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. I suppose. Depending on the event that you're playing or, yes. or the round you're playing <laughs> with. But um, between the adjustable hosel, between this weight, you can do a lot of different things with this club. So we're actually going to test at least the weight today. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, the cool thing about today, some shots with the weight forward, move that weight back, and we're going to really see how different that spin, that launch, yeah. and kind of that maybe peak height might be as well. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From a fitter standpoint, this is going to be a whole lot of fun to play with. I'm going to, I can do a lot of stuff with, with an individual with this guy. So. Well, let's start playing. Let's All right. Let's hit do some it. Shots yeah, now. Absolutely. So Kevin, the Stealth 2 Plus Fairywood. Mm -hmm. um, you've got it there. You bought it some shots, but of course we got to get that feedback on how it looks at a dress. Yep. Um, is it, does it, I, I, from here it kind of looks like it's actually kind of a big club head for a kind of a, you know, the, the plus or player's fairywood head. Actually, in TaylorMade's line, this is the most compact of the fairway woods. Um, right. At least at the three wood yeah. category. So uh, to me, it looks, looks really good behind the ball. Uh, I'm pretty familiar with this size and shape. I played the Stealth 2 Plus last year, most mm -hmm. of the year. Okay. So, um, you know, it looks, looks like an old friend. Okay. A little glossier. Yeah, but, I got the glossy still, on the still top old, there. Old friend, but you flip it over and, whoa. Yeah. You know, wait a minute. What's going on here? Right. So, 50 grams of movable weight. Um, my only question is: Is this thing going to be a dirt trap? Yeah, or, I or is it not, Yeah. Right. I, um, we don't get to test that today, unfortunately. No, we won't. But I, that's okay. The, that's for down the line. Right? Yeah. We're going to need a few months to to figure yeah, that one right. out. Yeah. We, here, yeah. you might need six months to figure yes. that one out. Um, but uh, yeah, this. Uh, it's an exciting new addition to TaylorMade's Fairway Wood line for sure. As yeah. soon as I heard what was what was coming down the line, oh, I was yeah. my interest was peaked, yep. man. Because look, the Stealth Plus was really really good last year. Great ball speeds. Yeah. Um, interesting too that they got rid of the rocket. Yeah. But my guess is but, based on everything that they've done, uh, 
the the weight forward is going to achieve similar. Gonna, it is you know, right. Results. We we should expect to see some pretty good low spin rates yeah. and and see that ball really mm -hmm. really jumping off here. So right now I've got the weight in the back. Perfect. Let's see what this Let's does. See. That's some solid speed right away. Wow. Mm -hmm. 151.2. Okay, not bad. Not bad. That's like also two, what I like to see shots. out of the fairway wood. Yeah. Right? I like I don't want to really see the ball going going left. Yeah. Just like with the hybrid. Kind of similar yeah. to the hybrid. Yeah, absolutely. It is one of those clubs that um, I think some people so there's there's the golfers that can't get it like off the ground consistently. Right. There's that struggle. Right. There's the other struggle too of if if it's not the right fit, it can really lose control of a three wood or a hybrid real. Oh, quick. for sure, yeah. for sure. I mean, fairway wood's going to be the hardest thing to hit off the deck anyway. Yeah. It's longer, we swing it faster, it has less loft. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, in baseball terms, we got three strikes against us before we even step into the batter's box. <laughs> I've seen a similar shot a few times. Yeah, that's, there there is a, a trend. There is a trend. There yeah, that's a, trend. a good way to yeah. put that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you kind of have that. It's just hanging out a slightly right. Yep. And then uh, we've cut 242, 243, 245 carry. This one with the spin dropped a little bit. Yep. And then you kind of, well, you did hit it a little bit better too, which helps. Just does to, help. It does yeah. help. Uh, yeah. But it's proving to be consistent, which is a great thing to start out with here yeah um launches pretty nicely landing angle is good for a, right. for a club that's oh, yeah. being hit off the deck into a green yeah right uh i mean 45 is pretty darn comfortable there for for a fairy wood for sure yeah i mean you can you can have some expectation of having the ball stop right yeah as a as a potential driver replacement I think it's pretty well documented that that's my primary use yeah. of a of a fairway wood. Yeah. Um, I would say the height's a little high, the spin yeah. rate's a little bit high. Which but, you were you would then probably drop that loft down. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, that's what you sure. would do. For yeah. sure. There it's turning. There Left we go. of the line. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, so technically we should have a more Powerful golf club. Yes. Right. It took all of 30 seconds to, to yeah. go from forgiving to full power mode yep. here. All right. So that's actually one thing too I'll be interested in, maybe on your feedback, is the forgiveness. Like what kind of MOI is lost? Um, stability is lost by moving that weight forward. Okay. <sighs> Technical terms, definitely some. Yeah. Whether I'm gonna feel it or not. Yeah. Eh, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Higher speed already, goodness. Yep. <laughs> All right. Bingo. Yep. Another golf club doing exactly what it's supposed to do. <laughs> I love that. Now, that felt that felt fast. Yeah. Right? There was definitely, you, know, you were talking about the MOI feel. With the weight back, it definitely didn't feel as powerful. Yeah. It's like it's like less energy transfer. Yes. At, yes. at impact. When you I have that little bit more weight forward, there's just a little bit more. Yep pop there to be had. Yep, we saw the spin rate drop. Yep. Trajectory actually stayed up there quite nicely, yeah. which is which is yeah. good, right? Again, we, we still want to have enough spin to make this a very useful golf club. Yeah. Uh, and enough trajectory to have it be a very useful golf club off yeah. the deck. See, I was curious. I was curious if that spin was going to drop below 3,000 and it sure yep. did. Okay. Oh yeah. Showing my versatility. Yeah. I got one up the middle. I got one out to the right. Yeah. I got one going left. I got all the shots. Yeah. Yeah. Little toward the heel. See. Okay. Okay. So. That I mean, that, that did what that, it was supposed to the do. The spin then basically it, it became the weight back fairy wood setting. Yeah. That's kind of what yeah. happened with that. I mean the jump up didn't go four thousand. Right. right. It still stayed. Uh, to a, a pretty reasonable number, that yep. 30, 35, 85. Yeah. Yeah. So I lost a little bit in terms of carry, but not mm -hmm. not a no. huge, huge amount. No, I think it's, I mean, it's funny because that, let's see, what were you, 3,500, yeah. 243 or 258. Okay. 
your and what average, felt like a pretty your big average miss. with this is roughly the same. You know, thirty seven, actually below average still with yeah. the weight backspin. Yeah. So it's it's still launching that ball out there for you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, out to the right. Okay. I like that two fifty plus carry. Yeah. That's that's pleasing to me. Yep. That's a crazy club head speed for a fairway wood for me too. By the way, <laughs> I am feeling the flow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you definitely swung that a little bit faster. Yeah. Actually, looking at it. Yeah. You were you you're gaining some speed, but you're I mean the spin has stayed comfortably lower. Yes. So as it should. The weight is doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> it is. Um, yeah. I mean everything kind of. The only thing is that it actually flew a little bit higher, but that okay. could just be because you had some more speed. Yeah. Right. And it kind of was, yeah, and it was kind of going right on you yep. a little bit as well. So but. seven more yards, seven and a half more yards in carry, 10 yards in total distance. Yep. That's about what I really yeah. would have expected here. And that was with, you That's know, disappointing. Well, that was- Smash yeah, Factor's you, disappointing. You had to miss it. You had going off the heel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You would be kind of go like this. You got a 4.2 and, and a 4.3 in there, you know, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. But you're used to hitting three wood at 12 degrees or whatever. So you drop that loft down here and- you probably that smash factor goes back up to where you like it so maybe yeah <laughs> so i think i mean great stuff though i mean yeah to, this... see, to see the difference right i think is, yeah. is cool because absolutely that's what taylor made going for and they there's a reason the rocket isn't there anymore it's because yeah. you can get both in one club yeah that's cool to have taylor made offer that absolutely um you know off the tee when you're catching this you know completely clean Fairway woods, hard to hit off mats. Yeah. You know, this is definitely, anytime you're swinging a fairway wood off, you know, trying to hit off mats, it is right. going to be a, a bit of a challenge. So, yeah. um, you know, you get that little low, little tiny low tee and you're get, getting it real nice and clean. Maybe you're going to get it up a little bit higher on yeah. the face. We're going to see that spin rate drop. So I do think that this can be every bit the weapon that the rocket was. Yeah. Uh, you know, off the tee for somebody mm -hmm. like me who really does hit a lot of fairway yeah. woods off the tee. I'm excited to, as we, we get into the season, put this thing through, you know, the full paces and start adjusting that loft and, and mm -hmm. see what, see what kind of crazy numbers we can create. All right, Kevin, the Stealth 2 Plus. I think this is a really cool advancement from TaylorMade here yes. in their fairway woods. This weight uh, clearly provides a pretty significant difference. And to see that come to fruition with the testing, I mean, we saw what, 500 RPM in, in spin. We yep. saw about five to 10 yards in distance mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So clearly there's some differences there and it depends on what the player's looking for. And the nice thing too is the player, their preferences change when they have the, the fairway. They can Absolutely. just slide the weight. Sure. Super, super no. simple. We watched you slide the weight. Yep. Took you 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's not difficult. It's yeah. not difficult. Uh, <laughs> Which is good, you know, you don't need an instruction manual. Um, you know, sometimes these adjustable golf clubs can be a tinker's nightmare. Yeah. You know, if they don't, if you don't know what you're doing, just go see a fitter. Yeah. I mean, I mean we're, we're here to help, right? So we, we can make sure that your settings are the way they, they need to be. Yeah. And when cha things change. Swings change. Yeah, let know. us know. We, we can help. Courses you change. That. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Um, so let's talk about good. this club here. So the i mean in a way it's going to fit a lot of players because of yeah. the adjustability but yep. in terms of kind of in the lineup right because there is the standard stealth and there is the hd mm -hmm. so with this club in particular maybe the golfers that would best be fit or that you would most likely fit into this model so there's really no pigeonholing the the, the individual for this right so uh the standard stealth 2 is going to be designed to, to launch maybe a little bit higher yeah. Uh, a little tiny bit more draw bias. They have an HD model, which yeah. which would be really right. draw biased. Yep. Um, you know, somebody that's looking to really tune into numbers uh, or into a trajectory uh, or even potentially into a shot shape. And there's gonna be a little bit less draw bias in this head. Right. Um, that's the individual that's probably gonna benefit the most mm -hmm. uh, through time. I have, my personal experience is that the, the the plus heads have been a little faster. Yeah. So subsequently the plus was really my number one seller last year. Yeah. And I expect this one's gonna be my number one seller this year. Okay. Um, just all the tunability in this, uh, the ability to dial in, you know, if I ask you, what do you wanna see out of a fairway wood? 
you know, uh, quite likely if you've yeah. got special requests, this is going to be the guy, yeah. right? Right, right. That's really cool. As I know as a fitter, that makes you really excited about the fittings that you'll have this year. Absolutely. In, in that fairy wood. Stealth 2 Plus looks like a really good candidate for a lot of players. So if you're one of them, make sure you schedule that fitting at Second Swing. Uh, work with somebody like Kevin here. You'll get dialed in with a new Stealth 2 Plus fairy wood, and uh, you'll be sending some rockets out there. Yes. And uh, whether that's weight forward, weight back, a lot of playability to be had. So, Kevin, thank you for joining today, hitting you the bet. shots and giving the insight. Uh, we're really excited about this one. Yeah, this one's this one's going to be special for sure.